What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to another story time. I know, I know, I'm late. I'm late on story times. I'm sorry. I'm coming back. I'm getting back into it. I'm sorry. I've been very, very busy this this week. I still been uploading shorts and all that stuff, but I'm gonna we're gonna get right back into these story times that I owe y'all. I know, I know. But let's get it right into this amazing story time I have for you guys today. This story time is about my best friend stealing from me. Now, I don't know if any of y'all have had that experience of one of your best friends stealing from you. But if you haven't, welcome. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to explain to you my experience. So you guys hopefully do not go through the same experience that I did. So let me give you all some background information on this guy. Now, I've known him since elementary school. We didn't get along in the beginning. In the beginning of elementary school we just didn't get along he just didn't he just didn't vibe with me like you know it seemed like every time he wanted he always wanted to start fights with me or try to bully me or some shit i don't know i just wasn't i was never about it so i always you know me and him just never clicked but one day we're there we're in class and stuff like that and then they send us to gym so we're all in gym we're all sitting there and one day i remember now don't get me wrong i don't remember what he did it i think i remember him flicking my like i had a jacket on but it wasn't like all the way up so he like moved my jacket and he said something i don't know what he said but it pissed me off and i know immediately after he said that joint i got i start i started hitting him started hitting him i was like yeah i'm not i'm not about this bullying type of stuff this just wasn't me so we start we start we start fighting you know in front of everybody and you know everybody's going crazy now the teachers teachers come out the teachers like hey stop it stop it you know you know how all school school joints go so basically we're all there and we get we get you know the principals and all of them come in and they take both of they take me and him to the office and you know now they're talking to both of us like how did it start who started it and all that stuff and, you know, as a little kid, I'm not going to lie. If I was smarter as a little kid, I probably would have said nothing because nothing is like what you usually say. But I, you know, told him everything. I said, yo, he was messing with me and I just wasn't I was not dealing with it. Right. And um, first, I really thought, you know, we're going to get kicked out. We're going to get kicked out of school for two days, suspend, suspended for a little while, you know, spend it for two days or something like that. But the principal, I know the principal the principal is really nice. And the principal knows me because, you know, as I say, I was definitely a I love to talk in school. I just like to talk. So I always got in trouble for talking. I didn't get in trouble for fighting, just for talking. So she would always come get me and she'd be like, I got to talk to your sister now because my sister literally was like, maybe like you'd say two years, three years above me. So I'd be like, she'd be like, do I got to get my sister? I'm like, nah, you don't got to go get her. And so we they, they decide that they want us to just spend time together, right? So basically what they did was they had us uh sitting there as you would say it's in the classroom by yourself it's like suspension classroom where like you him and you know anybody else who got in trouble sits in there and you know you basically sit in there and you spend the whole day together doing work and stuff like that so we spend time in there and they decide to take us for lunch right and for lunch they both they make us grab lunch first because we are already in the as I say, we're in trouble, but we get we get lunch first. So I'm like, I'm not going to lie. That was sweet to get lunch first before everybody else because everybody else is like, oh, look at them. Like, they get lunch first and they got in trouble? Like, come on now. Yes, sir. But um, if you guys are liking this story, make sure to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate all that y'all been doing for me. It's really, really helped me out. I said I can't wait to keep posting for you guys. But let's get right back into this uh, joint. So basically, when we got lunch early, they would have us sit out in the middle of this elementary school they had a tree and underneath the tree was a pond and that pond had gold like these goldfish in it now i'm now i don't know the actual name of these goldfish i know that they're from as i would say china now some of y'all are gonna know exactly what the name is i'm sorry i did not know the name i should have looked this up before i before i did it but they had those fishes in there and literally they had a bench where you could sit at and all that and Usually no one sat out there, but the principal came out and had me and him sit out there. So I was like, okay, had us both sit out there and we're sitting out there and we see our class go by and it's hilarious to see our class go by because the teacher's thinking we all in trouble and stuff. And me and him are sitting here laughing just at the t picnic table with our lunch. And that was probably when we became actual friends. We became actual friends after that experience, like seeing our teacher mad and everybody in class like, dang, these guys get to go outside and enjoy lunch outside. We, we were smiling and laughing. That's when we started, you know, actually hanging out all the time. And it was a fun experience. You know, we got to slowly build up. 
we were like oh building up friendship and stuff like that and he lived in my he lived in my neighborhood so usually on the bus ride home or something sometimes i go over his house and he lived with his grandma and sometimes we go over and his grandma would make us food and sometimes we play outside and he had nerf guns now my dad didn't allow me to have nerf guns so i never was allowed to have a nerf gun in the house so i was always happy to go out to his house and you know shoot the nerf guns and all that have just have fun you know but so we go through all that right background story done we just doing all that and we get to one of my birthdays and my birthday comes up and i'm like excited for my birthday i'm like okay usually i have a sleepover during my birthday but it's usually a hangout so i sleep over for the boys so usually we invite the boys over. i'll invite the boys over that weekend probably around like they get there around like two o'clock and i'll be like okay we just gonna have fun we're gonna play basketball we're gonna do all this stuff and then after that we gonna you know sleep over time time to play the games time to do all that stay up all night drink soda all that stuff so we decide to do that right and we're all playing basketball outside all having fun just sitting there having fun and it starts getting dark outside it starts getting darker and darker and now we've none said happy birthday and everybody's went back outside to play basketball and we're all playing basketball and the next minute so we all there and i'm like okay his grandma pulls up and i'm like that's okay that's weird must be something going on and he walks outside and i'm like it was up d so we call him d and i'm like what's up d and d like oh yeah you know i gotta go home i got important stuff to do some just popped up and i'm like oh, okay you know understood i get it all that and um talked to his grandma really nice his grandma is like amazing love his grandma to death and so we talked to his grandma for a little for like maybe like give or take four or five minutes and then uh, one of my friends come outside because there's some of them inside the house and they're like hey we're all looking for um, your sister's phone and we can't find it so now we're like oh everybody's looking for my sister's phone and I'm like okay and I asked I asked D I'm like hey D do you know where my sister's phone may be or anything like that and he's like nah I don't I don't know where it, I wouldn't know where it is or anything like that and I'm like oh okay you know as a friend best friend I've known you since elementary school I'm believing you right so I asked him twice. He says no. I'm like, okay, gotcha. I don't. I believe that joint. So maybe a, f a few months go by, maybe a month go by, or something like that. You know, my fam, my family. Basically, thank you. We had insurance on the phone, so you know, you just paid for the insurance, and the insurance gave us a new one. But maybe I give or take a month later, his we get his, my my mom gets a call from his uh, grandma saying that they found my sister's phone. And I was like, that's weird. So after we get off the bus, my mom has me and my sister go up to his house. And when we go up to his house, his mom's there. And I'm like, oh, I'd never seen his mom before because he lives with his grandma, right? So his mom's there. And basically, his mom explains the whole story to me and everybody. So basically, she came home and he was at home instead of being at school. He skipped. He decided to go back home to his mom and he skipped school and decided to stay stay home with his with, with one of his friends. And his mom came home early. He didn't expect it. So when his mom came home early, his mom saw him and started started beating on him. Started you know grab that belt and start beating him. And when she was beating him, she saw she heard a she heard something fall on the ground and she saw the phone and she's like, where you get this phone from? And she had to beat him. And once she beat him, you know, she found out it was it was actually my sister's phone. And I was like, hey, this is crazy. Like, you know, this is like your best friend. Like, this is somebody you've known for so long since elementary school. You're like, oh, this is this is crazy that you would do something like this to me when I've done supported you through everything. So we sit we sit there and I'm like, OK. And um, he doesn't come out. He didn't come outside. He didn't come outside that day. But, you know. Uh, the next day, where I, I'm at school, and he sits right next to me in class in history, and I usually always help him with notes. We help each other with notes and shit like that. And I'm like, okay. So he gets in the class, and he's trying to have, he's trying to be regular with me. I'm like, yo, you lucky I don't beat you up right here, right now. The only reason I didn't was because his grandma loved <clears throat> loved his grandma to death. His gr his grandma was like always nice you know he he usually was very mean to his grandma and stuff like that he would all he would always be like oh i don't want to deal with you or anything like that and then next minute when his grandma was like i'll send you back to your mom he would act he would act he would act right so the grand his grandma is the only reason as i say saving grace of why he didn't get beat up at school because don't get me wrong love school and you know then i didn't love school but i just didn't want to get in trouble i would still get in trouble at school for that i would i would have fought him immediately but i said luckily you know his grandma his grandma's blessing came in and helped him out 
Now, I hope you guys do enjoy this story time. The moral of this story, as I would say, is just be careful who your friends are, you know. Make wise decisions, and if you see any yellow or red flags, as I would say, in your friend, then true, that that may not be your friend. Because for me, I said I would never steal from one of my friends. So it's like one of those things of like, if they can steal from you or take from you or stuff like that, then they ain't your they ain't your true friend, stuff like that. And I think you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna start posting more and more for you guys. I do apologize for taking this slow, but I got y'all. We gonna get back on this grind and we gonna get to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day.